He's really gifted. I mean, he's very, very quick, very fast, strong, agile, um, has really good balance. One of the fastest, quickest, electrifying players in the MIAA. 70 yard touchdown! JJ Letcher! James JJ Letcher is one of a kind. Well, he's become a tremendous leader for us. Uh, great personality, great energy, loves the game. The senior at Washburn, Letcher's put the league on notice through his production over the last few years. Just playing with that chip on my shoulder and having my parents just continue to tell me, keep fighting, keep doing this, keep doing what's right, you know. That's always helped me get better every year. A Piper High School standout, Letcher undersized coming out at wide out, wanted to prove his worth. With just a few college offers, going to Topeka only made sense. I think just them wanting me. Uh, coming out of high school, I play running back. So as, as everybody's seen, I'm not the biggest guy out there, but I knew in college I didn't want to play running back. So I, I really only talked to a handful of teams. If I didn't get an offer from Washburn, I don't think I would have been playing college football. So It's worked out well for Letcher on the field, but there's a lot more to this all MIAA standout. The son of Morris and Toya Letcher, J.J. grew up in the game of football. He's a coach. He's a minister, so he does a lot of things then. And just having him in my background my whole life just helps me bring it out at times. Even if, if, even if I don't want to, it just comes out. Starting at a young age, working his way up through the ranks, and his dad playing college football, winning a national title at Coffeyville Community College, and then playing in East Carolina, even earning an invite to the Miami Dolphins camp. Family is important to J.J., but in 2020, it ended up being a tough year. My dad ended up having two massive strokes. This was right before COVID happened. He was in the hospital from, I want to say March to maybe May. Came home for a couple more months and then went back to the hospital August when I came down here for uh, camp and whatnot. So he ended up going back to the hospital and then he had those strokes then and then he lost a bunch of weight. So I think that's my biggest motivation to prove people wrong and be able to do what I do. He's He's that backbone for me. I was home all summer. That summer, that 2020 summer and 21 summer, I was at home helping him, helping my mom, because she's really the, the main person helping him while he's at home. So uh, he's definitely gotten a lot better, but I think just having him in my group, in my home group. The trials and struggles his father went through motivated JJ even more to be the best and to do this for his family. To have him in the stands while I'm playing, you know, I could have lost him a couple times throughout those couple years, but. Um, having him there, having my mom there, and my my closest family being able to coach that games, it, it means a lot to me. So I try to show them as everything I could do on that field. So it's for them. And Letcher's goals don't end with college football, though. He has a sight set on the NFL. I think he has a skill set to do it. I think he's highly motivated to do that. Um, uh, we had Corey Valentine here while he was one of, when JJ was a little younger, and he went up against him and kind of was like, "Hey, man, I you know I can go against NFL corners." Having that, manifesting that every every time I talk to somebody or every time I step on that field, and just going out and producing, doing what I can every week, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer every time. Already off to an amazing start to the 2022 season, Letcher has high hopes for not just himself, but the Ichabods too. Coming off of last year, we had a real good season. We're carrying that into this season. I'm looking forward to every week. I feel like we have one of the best teams, if not the best team in the conference, and I think we should make a good run for whatever we're looking for this fall. So That's all for this week. I'm Chris Roush, and thank you for watching this MIAA feature.